Hey everyone and welcome to Hashtag Trending. Thank you for joining us. On this edition, we're going to bring you some social media reactions to the abusive treatment of Haitian refugees by the United States. So stay with us. The U.S. is notorious for ruining nations and then snubbing their asylum seekers. Just look at the treatment that Haitian refugees are getting over the border and on the U.S. soil. Over 10,000 Haitian refugees are sleeping outdoors and waiting for an unknown future that could potentially include deportation flights back to the country where they fled. The Biden administration's treatment of Haitians is as abusive as it could get. Yet, what Border Patrol agents did in Debrio a few days back totally out eviled Biden and his entire team. Now, these first tweets are in response to that horrific incident. The first one is posted by MC Shamar. It reads, I can't believe how people are reacting to Haitians crossing the border. They are being whipped and shot at by Border Patrol. The next one is posted by Florence Patton. Apparently, he loves the Mercedes driver, Lewis Hamilton. This is happening in 21st century USA. White men on horseback whipping black men is so stomach-churning and repulsive. It shames the whole country. The fact it barely gets column inches is indicative of how depraved the West is. Now, this next one is posted by Joshua on Twitter. It reads, are you even surprised though? U.S. police often treat people of color who are Americans poorly. Imagine the ones who don't speak English. Now this one is also posted on Twitter. It reads, you're watching 10,000 refugees from Haiti making their way across the Rio Grande, seeking asylum in the U.S. The country that stole Haiti's wealth, that stole its democracy. Biden's response to the refugees? Resume deportation flights to Haiti. Watch this. So yeah, as I explained before, most of these refugees are eventually flown back to the hellhole that they had escaped from in the first place. And that's the American definition of human rights. Now, let's go over the next batch of tweets. This one is posted by Madame Bookman. It says, it's very simple. If the U.S. doesn't want Haitian refugees showing up at its borders, then it needs to stop stealing Haiti's elections to impose puppet regimes friendly to its interests. Stop conspiring to keep Haitian wages at $4 a day for U.S. companies to profit. Now, this next one is posted by J.M. Harden. It reads, and we thought things would get better for immigrants once Joe Biden took the oath. We just traded one con man for another, and this one didn't even want to stand up for voting rights until we screamed loudly enough. The next one reads, we like to think that America has grown and changed in the past 150 years. We're wrong. Just so you know, the Haitians are being deported under a U.S. policy that singles out mostly Haitian asylum seekers who are disproportionately black, indigenous, and Latino. Now let's see some more social media reactions. This is America under POTUS. What a waste voting for this administration. The international community will pretend they do not see these inhumane treatments. This next one is from Andy Lee Parker. The U.S. must stop creating refugees by using the military to back corporations outsourcing slave labor. And the last one is posted by Tom Watson, and it reads, Our border cannot look like some white supremacist fantasy flick. Treat refugees with humanity. Give them the rights and process they are due. The president of the U.S. must change this story immediately. And that's a wrap for another edition of Hashtag Trending. Thank you for watching. See you next time.